welcome to West Tani Hospital podcast. In today's episode, we will talk about one of the most women concern: abnormal vaginal discharge. We are here with Dr. Jutha t h i p u n s a t a r a gynecologist of West Tani Hospital who has over 13 years of experience in providing obstetric and gynecology treatment. Hello, doctors. First of all, I have to thank you for taking your time from your busy schedule to talk with us today. We really appreciate it. Let's start with the first question, doctors. Okay. Is it normal for every woman to have vaginal discharge? Actually, it's very normal for every woman to have vaginal discharge because in reproductive age, that means like after you uh, have menarche, you have menstruation, yes, and after that, uh, the vaginal gland that has a gland in the vagina and. Uh, At the in front of the vagina, it has gland that can produce the discharge in every woman. Mm-hmm. So every woman can have discharge, and the discharge may different from time to time during that period. I mean, before the period comes, maybe the discharge will become more sticky and like more uh, white. But at the middle of the period, the discharge will become more translucent and not sticky at all. So uh, every man we have discharge, but uh, the character of the discharge you may have to concern, you may have to observe about yourself that it's still normal or it turned to be abnormal. So may I know what types of vaginal discharge or any changes in vaginal discharge that we need to be concerned about? Actually, just observe by yourself because, like, uh, when you observe yourself or you observe your underwear. You can know that uh, you have a normal discharge or not. Normal discharge characteristic always mean uh, light or white light or translucent and not too sticky. But when your discharge turn to be greenish discharge or yellow or it has stinky or smelly odor, that means it's abnormal. Mm-hmm. Or it have uh, another uh, color, like uh, turn to have a. Uh, Some of the blood inside, yes, is very abnormal. So, what cause abnormal discharge? There are many causes of the vaginal discharge that are abnormal. Uh, first of all, is from the vagina. So, if you have infection in the vagina, it can have a abnormal discharge. If you have the mass or polyp or a small lesion, uh, such as a wart in your vagina, it can have a normal abnormal discharge. And the other uh, upside from the vagina it is cervix. Cervix is the protrusion of the uterus inside the vagina. So if you have infection or if you have abnormal Pap smear, that means if you have lesion at your cervix, yes, you can have abnormal discharge. Another uh, reason is up up from the cervix. It means uterus. If you have abnormal bleeding, if you have vaginal spotting. It can change the characteristic of your vaginal discharge as well. Mm-hmm. So, may I know how do you diagnose abnormal discharge in the cases that you see that there are some abnormalities? Okay, to diagnose the uh, cause of the vaginal discharge, uh, firstly we need a history from the patient. So the patients need to observe by themselves that the uh, characteristic of the discharge is the discharge. Uh, abnormal, uh, related to the menstruation or not, or related to the sexual intercourse or not, or if it uh, related to the medicine you you take, maybe if you take the uh, antibiotics for a while, it can have a not abnormal discharge as well. So uh, the symptom, the history from the patient is very important. After that. Of course, it uh, discharge from the vagina, so uh, we have to do vaginal examination, especially uh, from the women that have a very abnormal discharge. But of course, if you are single and uh, never have a vaginal, uh, never have a uh, sexual intercourse before, mm-hmm. we will avoid that, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. as much as possible. And we may take uh, another investigation, maybe outside from the vagina that uh, may have discharge that I can. Uh, Collect it um, to swab it and to have the investigation about it. So, firstly, symptom and history from the patient. Secondly, the investigation from the vagina that has the discharge, and we may swab it and send to the laboratory to see if there 
is any infection inside. So, how how do you treat abnormal discharge? It depends on the cause of the abnormal discharge. If you got infection from the vagina or cervix, we will give you the medication that can cure the infection. If you got abnormal cell on the cervix, yes, there is a treatment policy to treat the abnormal cell of the cervix. If you got the bleeding or the vaginal spotting from the uterus, maybe we need the ultrasound. Maybe we need a more investigation about the cell inside the uterus or inside the uterine cavity. So it depends on the cause that we found from that vaginal discharge. But normally, most of the patient got vaginal discharge from infection. So most of the time, we just give the medication to the patient, and the patient can be treated. Okay. Doctor, so can you please give us some recommendation or tips for preventing vaginal infections that can lead to abnormal discharge? Yes, because most of the patients that have the abnormal discharge came from the infection. So we just prevent the possibility to have infection. Firstly, you need to keep clean. You need to keep good hygiene for that area. So if you have got uh, sweating. You may need to change the underwear. If you got period the menstruation, you may need to change the sanitary pad. Not later than three hours. Then you can change the pad and keep clean. Yes, and before that, okay, I suggest you not to do the vaginal douche. Some women really like to do the vaginal douche that uh, clean, irrigate the vagina into the vagina. And actually, it is very harmful. And you can wipe out all the good bacteria inside the vagina. And then another cause of the infection and the candida, the fungus, will come instead. And it can cause the infection inside, inside your vagina. So just keep clean, not to get inside the vagina, and keep dry. Mm -hmm. It can prevent the infection of the vagina. Okay. And if you have abnormal discharge, please go to the hospital or go to see the doctor. Should not uh, buy the medication by yourself that may lead to a wrong diagnosis and a mistreatment mm -hmm. of your vaginal discharge and vaginal infection and may lead to another complication. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, doctors. All right, everyone, that's it for today. In the next episode, we will talk about cervical cancer, which is one of the most common cancer in women. So please stay tuned. And don't forget to follow us on Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a notification when we upload a new healthcare tip for you. See you in the next episode. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ